Hey everyone. I've got a quick video. Uh, some folks had asked questions about what it costs to power all of these machines all the time when I'm running them. Um, and I do leave them on pretty much all day, every day. Uh, not with the audio turned on. I'll turn the volumes down on all the machines, but I do tend to run all the cabinets all day. So what I did, let me turn the light on real quick. Okay. So what I did is I plugged in my kilowatt and I just moved it around to each of the outlets and kind of moved machines around and whatnot to get measurements from every machine individually. Uh, this is 153 watts. That is this entire center section. So it's seven arcade one-up cabinets plus the Legends Pinball. Uh, that's about 153 watts right there. And then the rest. But like I said, what I did is I went through and I totaled up you know, I've got each individual cabinet's measurements, totaled them all up, the LED light strips for the room, and the multi cade pedestal with the monitors, totaled everything up, and then I also calculated out the cost uh, to run it per hour, per day, and per month based on the local residential electricity rates in my area. I'm in Florida. Um, so I will put all these numbers on, uh, you know, on the, the YouTube video, either in the description or in a uh, pinned uh, comment. So one of those ways, just look for it there. But I'll have all the numbers. A uh, couple of neat observations. Uh, one, the Legends Pinball, of course, you know, is the, the biggest power user of the, you know, the three-quarter scale cabs because of the dual monitors and it's got a 32-inch screen for the play field. So that makes sense. Um, Tron is the highest usage for the modern, you know, three-quarter scale cabinets, um, which also makes sense. You know, got a lot of lights on it. The Galaga Gen 1 was really surprising because I do have the marquee from Arcade 1 Up, and I have a dimmer installed on it. I put dimmers on several of my marquees to tone them down a bit uh, so they're not so washed out and not so quite so bright when you're playing. Uh, like the class of 81 is kind of bad about washing out. But without the dimmer, I mean, it's really obvious how bad this, this washes out. But with the dimmer, it tones it down a lot. And it makes it, when you're looking at the screen, it's not so bright, you know, in your face. Um, and it's easier to see the screen. Uh, the old Gen 1, the Galaga, this one was really, really bad washed out. And it's still got some, you know, you can see some of the effect on it. But uh, it's, it put, the camera picks it up more than in, in person. It looks much more uh, like black. It looks a lot better. The camera actually does a really good job of, of picking up the highlights uh, where they are. But, um, but yeah, the dimmers helped quite a bit. I did it on the Mortal Kombat as well and on the Marvel vs. Capcom. I didn't do it on Tempest because I have an aftermarket uh, coming for it. But anyway, uh, again, I'll, I'll put all these numbers on uh, online, uh, you know, in the description so you can check them out for yourself. Hope it helps someone.